Open your mouth and begin to bless this God of heaven. Open your mouth, begin to reverence this God of heaven who never changed. Begin to thank Him, the God that makes it possible for us to come in His presence. Worship this God of everlasting. Worship this God who cannot lie. Worship this God who cannot fail. Worship this God who is our King. Worship this God who is the hope of eternal life. Worship this God. He is our Father. He is the great God. He is the strong God. He is the rock of age. The only hope of everlasting. Time this God that cannot change. Time this God who is worthy. Time this God who is our hope. Thank this God who is with us. Thank this God who cannot leave us alone. Thank this God who has been our sustainer. Thank this God who has been our comforter. Thank this God who has been our helper. Thank this God who did not allow our enemy to frustrate us. Thank this God who has given us another privilege to come before his presence. Give thank this God because he is worthy. He is worthy to be prayed because he is the Lord. He is the mighty God. He is the Lord who is like unto me. There is no one like him. He is worthy to be prayed. He is our Father. He is our King. He is the only man of war. The one that go to a battle that no man can challenge him. The one that fight all battle. Begin to dedicate your life before the Lord. Begin to tell the Lord, I am grateful. Begin to tell the Lord, I appreciate you. Begin to tell the Lord, receive all the glory this morning. Begin to tell the Lord, we have come to worship you. Begin to tell the Lord, Lord, take on the glory. You are worthy. You are faithful. You are master. You are the God that cannot lie. You are the God that cannot fail. Oh, my Father. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. In the name in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we have prayed. The God that never fails, let me hide you. Let me hide you. In you there is life. The God that never fails. Yeah. Let me hide you. Let me hide you. In you there is life. This morning you are going to tell the Lord. You are the God that never fails. Lord, my heart desire is to hide in you. My heart desire is to hide in you because in you I am safe and secure. Lord, my life is in your hand. Lord, my family is in your hand. Lord, the Good Morning Church Family Foundation is in your hand. Father, because in you we are safe and secure, why can't you talk to God? Why can't you talk to God right now? Why can't you talk to God? Tell the Lord. You are the God that never fails. You are the God that never changes. You are the God that never shares His glory. You are the God that cannot fail. You are the Lord, my Father. In you, my Father, I have security. I am secure. Father, in you, I am sure. My Father, your insurance has covered me. Who can be against me when the Lord is with me? Who can take my life when the Lord has given me life? Who is the man or woman that can stop me? Because I have Jesus. You are the God that cannot lie. You are the God that cannot share his glory. The man of war. You alone is the one that fight battle that no man can challenge. Lord, you fight or battle. You are a battle fighter. Lord, I know you are with me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. This morning, we are going to pray. All oh, the gang up of the enemy against Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation. Friend, after prayer or the daybreak, I didn't sleep. It was a war. But I know. <laughs> 
the Lord who has given me victory over my poor sure, they are not happy. They are not happy of what we are doing. The devil, they are not happy. They came like they came, they begin to fight. They gang up. I saw them. They gang up. They say, Okay, you are the one. We are going to kill you first. Because if we succeed of killing you, that uh, these other people will be able to attack them. <laughs> I love them. I love them. But I was there. The Lord was with me. We are going to pray all those that gang up together against this program. All those that hear about what they was planning. All the eyes that saw it when they was planning it. We are going to pray and tell the Lord where they may be right now. We are going to tell the Lord to give them open shame. That all their gang up will not stand. Who said it that we come to power when the Lord have not spoken? This morning I want you to begin to pray. All those that want to scatter this program, let God scatter them. Those that want to stop this program, let God stop them. All the forces of darkness fighting against Good Morning Church Family Foundation, fighting against this program not to stand. Let the Lord arise and let the fire on the Lord come. Them. Father, you are my defender. Lord, you are my advocate. Lord, you are my director. You are the owner of my life. Lord, my life is in you. Lord, my case is on you, my Father. I pray all the forces of darkness that have been working against my life, working, oh Lord, my Father, to bring this program down. Father, I ask you to frustrate them. Lord, I ask you to give them open shape. Lord, I ask you, oh, Lord, to scatter them. Lord, I pray, my Father, this morning you will rest us upon them. Every eyes that see, every ear that hear, when they was fighting against me, my Father, they want to bring me down. Holy Ghost, I say, bring them down. Father, I say, bring them to nothing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are with us. Lord, I know thou are with us. All the gang up on Facebook, all the gang up on Zoom, all the gang up on phones, where they may be right now. Father, are they in Europe? Are they in Africa? Are they in Asia? Lord, locate them. Are they in America? I say locate them. Father, give them open shit. Let Egyptian begin to fight against Egyptian. Let Goliath begin to kill Goliath. Father, they will not succeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. This morning, I want you to turn with me to the hymn that say, Open my eyes that I may see. Hymn 236. Open my eyes that I may see. Because our eyes has been blind for many years. Do you understand me? Poverty have, poverty have taken many of you because of a lack of a lack of a understanding because we are on we are blind sorrow have taken many people because we are spiritually blind you can see people are walking on the road people are going to church but they are blind but when our eyes be open you begin to enjoy friend is somebody who eyes open is the person that can look for money is the person that can look for good thing but when our eyes blind we cannot see them please let there be no noise on the zoom please let there be no noise on zoom please take this hymn for us without delay
want to go oh, Open my eyes That I may see Gentles of truth That has for me Placed in my hand The wonderful thing That your own love And set me free Silent me now I wait for thee Ready my God Thy will to sing Open my eyes In you me Speak Open my ears that I may hear Voices of truth Thou stand and clear And while the wind not fall on my ear Everything flows with this prayer Silently now I wait for thee Reading my God I will to see Open my ear to pray now that the, your way has been blocked for years your eyes need to be open your mind need to be open your mouth need to be open 
somebody can have the understanding be pleased to say lord i have i have been blind for years but my eyes must open my ear has been blocked for years but my ear need to open why can't somebody pray this morning with understanding of the song we just sang why can't somebody pray and say lord I enough is enough that they have blocked my way for long. Lord, I they have blocked my life for long. Lord, they have blocked my destiny for long. Lord, but my destiny must be reactivated again. Why can't somebody pray with understanding? They have blocked your womb. Maybe they have blocked your way. They are saying that nothing will come out of you. Maybe they have blocked your life. They are saying that you will not succeed in your life. Maybe they have blocked your children. Maybe they have blocked your husband to be. They have blocked your document. They have vowed that you will not have document. Why can't you pray with understanding? Lord, I need it, my father, that my way must be open. Lord, I want to know my father in glory your way. Oh, precious Father, I want to thank you this morning because the time of, oh Lord, of blindness has gone. Father, this is a time, oh Lord, of revelation. Father, this is a time of knowledge. This is a time, oh Lord, my Father, in glory that my spiritual eyes must be open more and more. Lord, my Father, that spirit, my ear must be open. Father, my eyes must be open. Father, my way must open. My Father, the hour has come, precious Redeemer, that my mouth must open to speak the word of truth, my Father. Lord, the hour has come, my Father, in glory. Holy Ghost, I ask you this morning that you will speak to us in the language we will understand. Holy Spirit, we need your presence in our Holy Ghost, we ask you to come down and take primary control that at the end, we have the cause to glorify. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Eternal Father, invisible God, the only wise God. Lord, look at your children. We gather from different angles. Lord, from Europe. Lord, from Africa. Lord, from America. Lord, from Asia. People gather from Germany, for France, for Italy, for Belgium, for Austria, for Holland, Lord, for Canada, for London, Lord, for the part of the all over the world that we have gathered this morning. Daddy, the devil have padlocked many people's lives. Lord, the hour has come from the life to open, for the way to open the ways of your children, because the time of ignorance has gone. Holy Ghost, this is a time of knowledge. But Lord, your word make me to understand we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Lord, I pray this morning that you will dish out the truth that will set us free from every area that the enemy have chained us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are with us. Lord, I invite you personally this hour. To come and take your seat. That at the end, we have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My beloved brothers and sisters, the DD is still on. We are in the sixth, the third day of the fasting and prayer that started on Monday. If you are, you are here with us for, the, for your first time, I want to bless God for your life. I want to tell you that uh, you are in the midst of the people that love you, that think about you, that cares about you, that will be praying for you. But I'll be hoping that a time like this, you will be with us. I tell you, you'll be with us. It's not just a mistake. It is by the divine mercy of God, you are with us. You are with us because God loves you. On Facebook, on Zoom, those are connected on phone that I cannot see. But I, I want to tell you that God knows that you are there. As you follow us, that our God will do you good because... Our God has a great promise for us. He has promised us that he will be with us when we follow him. As you choose to follow us, I want to tell you 
the Lord will do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we move forward to listening to the message we are having this morning. Having a message that say, that say, my people, my people lack, lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. My, no, my people destroy. My people destroy for lack of knowledge. My people destroy for lack of what? Of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I was asking which message said so let them know what happened, what is going on today in the world, why people are into poverty, why people are into sorrow, why people are into pain, troubles of life, because of what they have destroyed for the lack of what? Of knowledge, the lack of the truth, lack of holiness, lack of the standard of God, lack of preachers to preach the message of eternal life. Do you know that if a blind man lead a blind man, what is going to happen? Eh? If a blind man lead a blind man, what is going to happen? There will be trouble. Yes, that is what is now happening in the world. That is that is what has caused sickness, caused sorrow, caused pain to many people because of lack of word, lack of uh, lack of understanding, understanding of who you are following. Let's read in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 5, where we take our desk. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. That is where we take our message this morning. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13. Go ahead. Isaiah 5, 13. Therefore, my people have gone into captivity because they have, not, they have no knowledge and their honorable men have famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Do you see that? Wherefore my people are what are gone into where? Into where? Captivity. Into captivity. The enemy have taken hold on them. Why? Why did it happen? Because they have no money. Because, because they, have no they lack of word of knowledge. Because they lack of the knowledge of God. And because of that now, these people, they are not into captivity. The enemy have what have taken hold of them. The lack of the lack of the knowledge on or lack of on knowledge to acknowledge God. To acknowledge what God demands for them. That is still happening right now in our old generation. In this particular time we are in the world. My, the many people are into captivity today because pastors are not giving them fake news, fake hope, fake hope, fake hope. Pastors are not giving them poise. Pastors have turned them away from the side of God. For pastors to begin to feed them with the real message of repentance, pastors are not giving them another message today. By taking, you know, when somebody when somebody take poison, you know, when somebody take poison, you know what happened to the person. Eh? When somebody take poison, that is how many today many Christians have take poison. That is what is happening today in churches. That is what is happening today in the place where people gather. They call the church because pastors are not giving them poison to drink. Pastors have what have neglected the mercy that was given to them by God. They are not telling them another thing. Friend, but glory be to God that in this particular time we are in the world, the Lord have decided, the Lord have decided to rescue you, that you also will not go into captivity. Maybe you have been into captivity already, but the Lord have made a decision right now. Which decision? The decision to take you away from that captivity. 
if you are ready, if you are ready to say, Lord, I have been under this captivity, but right now, Lord, I need your help. Friend, if somebody go to me, doctor, and the doctor is saying, what the person is sick is dying. The person, the doctor is saying, what is your problem? You, the person is saying, doctor, I'm okay. Doctor, I'm okay. Doctor, I'm okay. But the person is dying. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? I'm asking a question. The person will die. Now. Yeah, that is how many of you are going to die if you did not repent for your way. Because you have come to meet the great doctor, which is the almighty God. Now the great almighty God is not giving you, he is the great doctor, he's not giving you instruction. What will help you? What will help you, friend? What will help you to live a life, a life that you will prosper in your life? Turn with me in the book of uh, in the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's read verse 1 there. Deuteronomy 28. Let's read from verse 1. First, read that. If you are there, let's see something. What the Lord told us. In Deuteronomy 28. Go ahead, verse 1. Let's read. And it shall come to pass, yes. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command, I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Go ahead, and, go ahead. Okay. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, yes. if thou shalt hearken unto the me. voice of the Lord thy God. Yes. Bless. Blessed shall thou be yes. in, the, in the city, and, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit, the fruit of the body, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle, and the increase of the meat and the flocks of the sheep. Blessed shall be the basket and the store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall, ca shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in the, in the storehouse, and in, in all that thou settest thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee, and holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord, and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in, in the fruits of thy body, and in the fruit of the cattle, and in the fruit of the ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto the fathers to give thee, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season, and to bless all the work of the hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, above only, and thou shalt not be dead. If thou, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, and thou shalt not go aside from any of this, any of the words which I command thee this day, to to the right hand or to the left. To go after other gods yes. to serve them. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. This is the blessing. Yes. This is the blessing. Now let's look at the other side. Be people are in trouble because the lack of understanding, lack of God instruction. Read verse 15 down. 15. Let's read a little. Yes. But if but but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God 
to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all this cause shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cause shall thou be in the city, and cause shall thou be in the field. Cause shall thou shall be thy basket and thy stock. Cause shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy king and the flocks of thy sheep. Cause shall, shall thou be when thou comest in, and cause shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thy hand unto, unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings. Whereby thou hast forsaken me, the Lord shall make the pestilence cling unto thee, until I have consumed thee from all the land, whether thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever, with a fever and with an inflam inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with uh, uh, medium and and they shall pursue thee until thou perish and the heaven that is and the heaven that is over thy head shall be brass and the earth that is under under thee shall be iron the lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven and shall it come down upon thee until thou be, be destroyed. destroyed. Stop there. The Stop there because of the time. If you read that, you begin to see the causes that follow the disobedient. But do you see in the beginning, the Lord said, He said, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt what shall hearken diligent unto the voice of what of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandment which i commanded thee this day that that the lord the god will set thee on high above all nations on the earth mind the war this is the greatest stage, uh, 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 instruction the lord gave us and he began to analyze to us the blessing that follow us when we obey him and after that he stopped in verse 14 verse 15 he said but if he shall, he said, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, the God, to observe to do all his commandments and his status which I command thee these days. Man, the war. This is how the Lord decided to many people today are suffering. Why? Because of lack of a of in, uh, lack of lack of knowledge. Many people are being destroyed today. Have you not hear people that die? They will tell you, hey, he was just sick. He said fever. Fever fever was the matter. And after the next thing, the person died. Have you not hear about that? Have you not hear about that? But we don't understand. Have you not hear about people that come to Europe? But today, they, they are looking for one thing or another. But things are getting worse. Things are getting worse. Things are getting worse. Some people like this, they are in church. They may be in church for 30 years. They are in bondage. They may be a workers in church. They may be leaders in church. But the lack of what? The lack of the understanding. The lack of the knowledge of God. The lack of it to understand what God is giving. The instruction of God. Because the pastor refused to tell them the truth. Friend, will you join them to die? Will you join them to be ignorant? Let's look at it. Uh, let's go forward to see in the book of Hosea. Hosea chapter 4. Let's read from verse 1, Hosea chapter 4. I have I'm showing you a I'm showing you a road. Hosea chapter 4. Let's take it from verse 1. Let on if another person is there, anybody is there, read Hosea chapter 4. We take it for verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy in the inhabitants of the land. 
because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch blood. Therefore shall the land more, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the bones of the heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be in the wheel. Yet let no man strike, nor reprove another, for that people are as they that strike with the priest. Therefore shall thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast behaved not, and mortal rejects thee. Thou shalt be increased to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy I will also forget thy children. Verse 7, as they were increased, so thy sin against me. Should I proceed? Sister, please go ahead. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up the sins of my people, and they set their hearts on their iniquity. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will publish them for their ways, and reward them. Yeah, do you see that? It's okay. Do you see what happened there? Do you see that today in Nigeria, blood touches blood, and now the land, the trouble of God will not fall upon the land because the land have decided, people have decided to be so wicked, doing wicked things. Some people have decided to be committing adultery, some decided to be doing one or two evil things. Because of this, because of the lack of a, or because of lack of understanding who God is, but many people today has been destroyed. Many people have lost life. Many people are dying because being the country, the nation, the individual refuse to understand who God is. Friend, when we choose to reject God. Look at what God said in that particular place in verse, in verse 6. He said, my people are what? Are destroyed for lack of a knowledge. Because thou have rejected knowledge. Who is this knowledge we are talking about? Who is this knowledge? Eh? God. Because you have choose to reject God in your life. You have choose, you may, tell, you may tell yourself you are a child of God. But you are not living the way according to the standard of God. The Lord is telling you, repent for your sin. Many of you refuse to repent. You may be a, you may be a wonderful music, musical person in the church. You may be a wonderful zealous brother. Don't you know that there are people that have zeal more than you? They was ignorant according to the book of a Roman chapter 12, Roman chapter 10. Apostle Paul saw them that these people they have Z, but they have Z not according to the knowledge, not according to the standard of God. Friend, why those people perish because of what? Because of lack of what? Lack of knowledge. He said, I ah, now he begin to he begin to let us know. He said, now since you have decided to reject knowledge, he said, because of that, I I also what rejected thee. I also rejected thee. Mark the word that you have decided to reject God. God also have decided right now to reject you. He reject you. If God reject you, how can he work for you? If God reject you, how can you be alive? How can you have peace? How can you have joy? How can you how can you prosper? You may be prosper in your evil way, but you lack of what you lack of joy, you lack of peace, you lack of happiness, you lack of love. You may be using ten women, three women, five women to sleep in the night. Oh, wonderful! But those things you have no joy. 
because the bible said there is no there is no peace for the wicked he said that he said that that thou shall be no priest to me see thou hast forgotten the the law of the god i also forgot their children brothers and sisters many of you that have the privilege to have children already as you decided not to key in into the program of god the Lord is saying, I also, as long as you, as the father, as the mother, you decided not to follow me. Because if you don't follow God, how can you raise your children in a godly way? How can you, you remember? God told Abraham, and God said, when God was about to destroy Sodom and Sodom, the Lord said, should I begin to hide anything for Abraham? Because see that Abraham will become great very soon. Because I know him, he will teach what? He will teach his children. Friend, do you still teach your children? You that don't have the knowledge of God, how can you teach your children about what you don't know? You that don't have the word of God, how can you give what you don't know, what you don't have? And the Lord begin to he begin to walk to analyze to all because Israel has break the covenant with God. That is how many of you has break the covenant with God. You have break the covenant with God. You are now worshiping another gods. You have decided right now. Many of you are now worship worship food. You have make phone your telephone to become your idol. You are now worshiping him, worshiping the phone you are carrying. Day and night, iPhone 10, iPhone 9, uh, iPad, this, you are now make all those things to become idol. You are worshiping day and night. Some people make Iroko to become their idol. Why some people make a Dollywood to become their idol? Why some people make a jewelry to become their idol? Why some people make a, make a woman head to become their ghost? Why some people make a clothes? Maybe some people, they love makeup. Say that if I cannot make Make up, I am not, I can't live. A woman told me that time ago. He said that uh, she cannot do without makeup. There is no preacher will preach to her. That she loves makeup more than anything. That person has made makeup to become her ghost. Friend, many of you today has made error to become your ghost. You value error more than your soul, more than your God. You don't obey God anymore. You don't follow God because you lack of knowledge. Now you wake up early in the morning, you return back late, but at the end of the month, they pay your salary, and then that money, you will not know how you spend that money. You will not know how you spend that money. Friend, that is what is happening today. Because of what? Because you have decided to break the covenant of God. We show and we, we read the uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28 verse 1. We saw the blessing God has prepared. And all this blessing is going to be yours. When you now accept what? Accept this knowledge. They worship other gods. And they worship other gods. They change and follow the other gods. And they change their glory. E.g. God. Let's read in Psalm, in Psalm 106, verse 20. Psalm 106, verse 20. Let's see something there. Psalm 106, verse 20. Are we there? Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Verse 20. Does they change their glory into the similitude of an earth that eateth grass. You can see that they change their glory into what? Into the smithy of an horse that what? That eat grass. They are not eating grass. Many of you today are suffering in Europe because of what you have done. That uh, you lack of what you lack of to follow God. God is telling you, my son, my daughter, give me the life, give me all you have. I want to make use of it. You say, Lord, no, you understand. I need to buy woman hair. Many of you, Lord, God is saying, Give me your time. You are saying, Lord, I don't have time for you, friends. You now you not check your life, you not check your life proper. The lack of uh, the lack of uh, the lack of revelation, the lack of revelation and the word and, and to experience the, the knowledge of God, of God leading. They neglected God, they rejected God and begin to work to follow after material thing, love and his word and his spiritual praise 
of life. They lost that. They lost that. To, to, to dwell, they decided right now to dwell in spiritual darkness. Spiritual darkness have what has covered many people today. They have destroyed. People have destroyed for the lack of word of, uh, of spiritual eyes. As the future of our old way, Israel, kings, priests, and word and false prophets, they decided to word to lead the people astray, just as we are still seeing today. The pastors have decided to lead people astray, begin to corner people, begin to give the people fake prophecy. And people are dying by that false, uh, false prophecy. They are on their way to hell. They are turning to hell. They are on their way. Many multitude. Now, but the Lord has decided to lead us by Himself, lead us away from that wrong way, and lead us into His eternal home. Lead the people into into a way from the law of what of Moses and the revelation of the prophecy. They decided to lead people away from that true way that the Moses commanded them, and the word and the, or the prophecies of God. That is what is still happening today. That is what is affecting the church today. But glory be to God. They, they knew about God, but the, inform, the inf information does not save anyone. Only in what? Only a real covenant is somebody who make a decision and come a decision, have this knowledge of God by faith. It's only the people who make their decision to say no i have decided right now that i will not make i will not make a wrong decision other people has made friend how can i be how can somebody destroy somebody may be following god but the person have no knowledge about god the truth the person is hearing the truth but the person fail to live by the truth do you hear what i said do you hear what i said and eh? that the Lord is telling us how he wants us to serve him. That in him, there is no sin. And now, you as a Christian, having the privilege to hear the message of holiness and righteousness, you decided not to work, not to live according to that standard. You tell yourself, God understand. For example, we see the, the heat that are in, the, in, in Europe today. And the heat is really tough. And then you are being told, as a woman or as a man, you should not go to on this, You should not go out of your house naked, wearing pint, wearing those things. You you show me your breast. Those things you are advertising your butter. You are advertising your breast. You are you are telling people, yeah, come now. I'm not in show grass, but I'm out, I'm on the street today. I'm not in show grass. I'm on the street. That is what you are saying. But it, the warning has been given to you that so, you should not do that. If you do that, there is a punishment. And then you follow them. What happened? Punishment. Now you now receive the punishment. You can see that. Now, the Bible told us there is a need for us not to cheat people. There is a need for us not to be going to offices and begin to lie and get favor from them while we are getting punishment for God. There is a need for us not to begin to rob God. Just as today, people are not robbing God. Even in the church, pastors are robbing God. Christians are robbing God. Leaders are robbing God. We are robbing God in our old time, in the time when service is on. Service is on by 8 o'clock. You see somebody is going to church by 10 o'clock. Do you see that? But you cannot go to do that in your working place. If you are working, that you are called to be to resume work by nine o'clock. Before nine, you are there. Is that not true? Is that not true? Eh? Will you late for your working place? Eh? Now, if many of our children go to school, if you reach school, they will tell you stage fifteen. You, the, the door is locked. Abi. Am I right? But before that 8.15, your child is already in school. But when we talk of about God, you don't do that. You are so slogging that you know that you have late already. That is the time you are going to be making up. Make up. Friend, you can see today, we talk about right now, if, if you go to supermarket, anywhere you go, you buy something, you pay tax to the government. Is that not true? Is that not true? 
Yes, Is that sir. not true, people? You, I know you will not answer, but I will speak. Yes, then you don't ask them why will why will I pay tax every day by day? I am paying tax. You will not ask them. You must pay. Who is obligatory? You must pay for that task. Am I right? But today, now they are poisoning people's life to tell them they should not pay tax again. And people are happy. And people are happy. You can see people lack of what? Lack of the knowledge. And because of lack of knowledge, these people have been destroyed. And God has sent the voters to eat them because they decided to rebel against God. My friends, God has decided to be bringing the knowledge to us, the message from above. Message that will, that will turn us back to himself. When we return back to him, God will begin to work, begin to pour out his blessing upon us. You may be in church, you are a talkative. And because of your talkative, because of your mouth has become a pilot, your mouth has become a jazeera, your mouth has become CNN, your mouth has become BBS, a BBC, and that mouth has caused you sorrow today. You are, especially women, especially women, gossip. Why? Because of the lack of a knowledge. If somebody that has the knowledge of God can cry this morning. Friend, the message is over. The message is over. You now look into your life. Where have I been where have I allowed lack of knowledge to destroy my life? Lack of information. Lack of seeking cancer. Many of you don't seek cancer anymore. You want to do something, you go ahead and do it. Friend. Many of you today, that is the life you are living. Many of you have become a traitor. Somebody do evil to you and now you react. You don't ask God anymore. Should I react or I should hold on? Friend, I close my Bible. Talk to God this morning. The message is over. Talk to God. You look into your life. Is it because of a God abandon you? Or you are the one that use your hand to draw rain that is beating you today. Lack of what? Lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. My people have destroyed for the lack, the lack of following me. The lack of knowing my way. The lack of knowing the truth. The lack of keeping my commandment. Talk to God this morning. You have heard the word. A father, a mother, an invisible God. I want to thank you. I want to bless you. I want to give you honoration. Lord, this program, since this beginning of this program, you have been talking to us in a different form, different direction, that you are set to bless us. But our ignorance, have separated us away from you. Now, Father, you have opened our eyes to see how lack of knowledge have destroyed our life. Lord, I pray for mercy. Lord, I pray you have mercy upon my life. I pray you will forgive me all my foolishness. Daddy, oh Lord, where I have gone astray, that I will be keeping your word, that I have not been obeying you. Holy Father, I pray you have mercy on me. Forgive me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Pro my Father in glory. Remove away that lack of knowledge out of my way. Now you have opened my eyes. I have made my decision, Lord, to live by this information. Help me, my Father that I will not depart away from this information. Help me, Holy Ghost, that day. Lord, that day, that I will follow you to the end. Daddy, I pray, Father, for your children over this group, hearing my voice. Lord, I pray, my Father, that you will help us, that none of us, my Father, will destroy again. We have had the word. Father, help us, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Listen to me. Many of you are here because of lack of paying attention to God. You don't longer pay attention to God. 
as message is going on, you are busy. So you mute your phone, you are sleeping. You are sleeping, people are praying. Evil spirit is going out for other people. Then evil spirit is looking for where he's going to rest. Because you are supposed to be praying. And then if, he, if the evil spirit come now and run to my side, he find out that this man is on fire. And he run to Michael's house. He find out Michael is on fire. He run to the other person's side. He find out that person is on fire. He run to your side. He find out that your place, there is a gap in your place. What happened? We enter you pure. You don't understand. People go to church and carry trouble. I warn you before, don't come to my program, you begin to sleep. I warn you, don't add trouble to your life. You are playing with danger that when the message is going on, instead of you to pay attention, you are sleeping. Wow, I pity such person. Eternal Father, Invisible God, many of us has been mislead by false teachers. False teachers that are saying right now immorality is no longer a sin. That cocaine business is not a sin. That anybody can do Yahoo Plus. That is not a sin. Lord, all these things has caused many people sorrow. Lord, that people who are dressed like Jezebel is not a sin. That is what that is the message people are giving to them. Because of lack of uh, understanding, lack of knowledge has caused many people sorrow. Father, but you decided to be speaking to us this time. Lord, I pray you help every man or woman hearing my voice this morning. That it help all of us. That we will not lack of understanding again. We don't want to destroy. Enough is enough. Lord, we want to have a better life. Lord, we want to have a great joy. Lord, we want to have peace. But now you are showing us how we can have peace. Father, we are ready to abide by your word. We are ready to live for you. Lord, as many those that are ready to live for you, I pray, Father, you bless them. I pray you protect them. I pray you take away that inglory out of their life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. as they follow you and live by you, Father, may the blessing that, that belongs to those that obey you, let the blessing be released upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, you have promised us the land we enter, you will bless the land, bless us. I pray, Father, all the country where your children are hearing my voice this morning. Father, as I wave my hand unto you, I wave away poverty, I wave away sorrow, I wave away sickness, I wave away every obstacle, I wave away every hindrance, I wave away all the things that the devil has prepared against them. I command them to be useless in the name of Jesus. Lord, your mercy will speak for them. Your mercy will defend them. Those that are passing through stress of death Document, stress of marriage, stress, oh Lord, of, uh, of job, stress of children, Holy Ghost, stress of sickness. Lord, I pray for your healing in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, Father, and let your name be glorified. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Friends, we have come to the end of this morning. I want to tell you that all these messages, they are on YouTube. You share the messages on your Facebook, on the YouTube, on your WhatsApp, on the uh, Twitters, on your Instagram. Share message to the people who are there, who lack of uh, this understanding, who lack of knowledge, who lack of peace today. Share the message to them that they'll be able to work, to embrace the light of Christ. Please, uh, yesterday, the counseling and prayer... Uh, started yesterday and it's still continuing today. Uh, maybe if you call me, you find I didn't pick. Not that I don't want to pick. Maybe if I'm on other counseling on, uh, with another with somebody, I cannot answer. But as soon as, as soon as I finish, I must call you. Don't call me outside the time, please, of the counseling. If you call for counseling, I say for 12.30 to 2 p.m., because you can see the time we are having three times. I have to, I need time to prepare messages of for these three times. Please, a set is urgent something that you want to talk to me. If you call me one and the second time, 
I know it's urgent that I need to attend to you. Please, if I didn't pick your call this period, don't be offended because of I need a time to pray and to prepare message that will help you. Please. Uh, the next program, the program of today is going to be 6 p.m. I find out that people didn't understand it yesterday. We announced in the morning before 5 p. Uh, 5 p.m. Please, brother, let this information be on Zoom. Tomorrow, Thursday, is going to be 5 p.m. in the evening. Today is going to be 6 p.m. Tomorrow is going to be 5 p.m. Let us have this information so that uh, nobody will miss out the uh, program of today by 6 p.m. At least by 6 p.m., 7 o'clock we have cruise so that we can able to go and prepare return back for night vision. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit, bless and bide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely may his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is seated in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. Our life is seated in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today that be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In Micah chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me, rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 17, For henceforth, let no man trouble good morning Jesus' family foundation, for we bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that no man or woman will be able to trouble you in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day.